goals again and sooner? I know. How many pounds? All right, let's get going. Yeah, big stick. Uh, Sid, uh, on behalf of the organization and all the management and players, we want to congratulate you on your thousand point. Uh, I had no idea who will make your curve, but it's not <laughs> yours. <laughs> it's not your stick. I just want to say congrats, Thanks, buddy. Boys. Well, thanks guys. I, I didn't see this coming, but uh, certainly special to, to share this with you guys. Um, wouldn't have this without, uh, without your guys' help. So it means a lot. Cooney got it. We had a, a lot of points together over the years. Um, Gino couldn't get on it somehow. So I'll wait for that pass another time. But uh, I appreciate it, guys. It means a lot. Congrats, Sydney. No matter the level of success or the milestones one has achieved, it all began with a dream. The story has been written in hockey. Open air, clear skies, and frozen water has fueled a generation of talent. But in Pittsburgh, it's a different story. This playground isn't native to these parts, but because of them, the sport is starting to be. They say to reach for the stars. So, to the kids of Pittsburgh, this is where many of your stars did. It's a waiting game right now. We don't have a good enough cloud cover for us to pull tarps off, and it's a fairly warm day. So we're just going to wait until the sun is totally off the field by four. The crew does another 12 hours of spraying tonight to build up another three-eighths of an inch over top of what we have. So we'll be in good shape on ice step by that point. We're very much in tune with all the weather stations as to what systems will be coming through at, the, at that particular time. The day before the Stadium Series game, the Penguins did their best to acclimate to their new surroundings. Peter Jones, running back. The running back. I didn't have it this long. It's for the Franklin. Yes. Give it to the football guy. Is it everyone? It's only one thing. Oh, you're not received? No, no. Interception. Right there. You're going to hit Sheldon back in it. You can't throw it this far anyway. There is zero chance. Right here. Come on. That hurt the arm big time. I'll let him know. She's done. Yeah, okay. The guy doing a right into a stance out of the tunnel. How's that work? Yeah. Yeah. Now you're walking in and the whole crowd goes, do more. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. Is Tom Brady coming to watch you play? Yeah, he yeah. got tickets. Wow, that's crazy. Hey, you guys are one. Oh, get up. He's one sport athlete. While this was a new experience for many of the players, there was one for whom it was incredibly unique. Newly acquired defenseman Ron Hainsey was set to take the ice for the first time as a penguin. It's not how you'd really draw it up. I probably would have been a little easier with a 11 a.m. skate and right into a game or something, but obviously being able to be part of this event here this weekend right out of the shoot is pretty cool. We're going to try to go for 35 minutes. I think it's important that we get something out of it. I think we should enjoy this whole experience, but let's not lose focus on what we're here for. Here we go! Play! The ice was obviously struggling a bit in 75 degree, 80 degree sunlight right on it, but obviously it was just exciting to get out there. Let's go, let's go! Play! Good play, Dumo, good play! Right up, right up! That's it, Phil, get it to the net. Good, good! Okay, both ends go at the same time, ready? 
Stay close in here, D. Let's go, let's go. Good. Okay, bring it in here real quick. So good job today. You guys should enjoy this experience. Enjoy your families today. We'll see you tomorrow. It's a fun weekend for everybody, especially today for the families of the Penguins. We get to be together. We get to skate in a totally different setting and have a little bit of fun. I was so excited when I saw on the schedule that we had this game this year. And for me, where I'm at, it's just one of those fun experiences to kind of soak in and just enjoy it. I want us to embrace the experience. I think that's what today was all about. It's a great opportunity for all of us to practice outside, to spend some time with our families on the ice. It's a terrific experience to be part of these outdoor games. I've had the privilege of being part of two other ones in the past as a coach. They're great opportunities for our guys, and I think we should embrace that. exciting game to say the least. That wind is howling. It is whipping through this open end and at times it's swirling. That's a factor. It slows things down. I don't think any shot is a bad shot, right? Let's put everything we can on the net. Let's keep everything simple. We've got to be hard to play against. Okay? Let's have a night here. Come on. Come on, everybody. Welcome back. Chelsea. <laughs> Both of these teams have been in the National Hockey League for 50 seasons. They've played each other over 300 times, but this is the first time outdoors. Whoa, that gust of wind, eh? Gotta mind the snow drifts over here. It was in the high 70s here yesterday, over a 40 degree temperature drop. There have been some snow flurries already. Let's go, it's cold. They drop the puck, face up, one for the pink. Here we go, boys. Let's be ready to play here. Simple, smart. Simple, smart. Oh, here we go, baby. That's how to take the hit. That's how to move it by. Brother on there, drilled by Kunitz. I don't think our heat's working. It's freezing my ass off here. Sid, you play between Jake and Willie. Bones, you come. Different fingers for Crosby on this ship. Here's Gensel, side of the net, score! It's Crosby, yeah! and it's 1-0. Woo-hoo! Hey, Gensel! Hey, boys. Good shift, good shift. This line's buzzing, boys. Cole moves in and tangles with Voracek, who rolled off. Got out in front, he scores! What an effort from Jake Voracek. Flyers getting some better chances now. It is Couturier moving back in with Simmons. Couturier pulls and shoots and a great save is made by Murray. We gotta start playing a harder game. Gino, your life. Up top, up top. Shoot the puck here, gang. Hey! Woo! Hey! This is a hard fought game. Fans will get tested before this one's done. You know that. Come on, we gotta move! Tell your line, go now. Bear around behind, left it there, wrap around by Cullen in a second attempt. Yeah! They score! Matt Cullen! His first outdoor game at age 40, and he has put his team back ahead by two. Come on, Godfrey. Get a deep punch, boys. the fours. Come on. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Six years. And the man is in control right now. Work back on the Kunitz again. Side of the net play. Pop the top of the net. Woo. Let's go for a skate. Blocked by who? That's right. Ian Cole again. What do you want? Lewis? Okay. Good shot. How are you? Yeah! Yeah! The face -off! Woo -hoo -hoo! That's a quick shot, G out of IG! Just like a draw it up, man. Their captain led them. His team victorious over the visitors from Philadelphia. Nice job, boys. Out of boy, Phil, you warrior. Can't even feel my toes. 
The Penguins departed for Dallas, knowing that they likely would return to Pittsburgh as a different team. The trade deadline was two days away. How do you sort of handle this two days? You know, teammates that are probably nervous. Guys on the <laughs> Teammates? I'm nervous. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm like, I like Pittsburgh. I don't want to go anywhere. Yeah, sorry, how do you handle these two guys? It's, it's tough. It's, it's my least favorite time of the year, for sure. Seeing your teammates go and guys you build a lot of familiarity with, uh, guys that you you, know, you love as, as a family. Management's just trying to make the team better, and I, everyone knows it's a business. Everyone understands that. But, you know, when you see your teammates go, it's really tough. Oh, oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, it's a 2-2 game here in the third. And Dallas has unleashed the dogs. Humans have that perfect record on the line, Mikey, as far as leading after two periods of play. Under Mike Sullivan, they're 65 and 0. It's on the line now. Klingberg with the big one's in. Left side to Roussel. Rister, score. It's off the glove of Murray. And just like that, Dallas has the lead. All right, Forky, let's see if we can sort this out. It was a hectic day, to say the least. Well, I agree with you. You wish Eric Fair and Steve Alexi all the best. The Penguins, of course, have made some deals, but they got defenseman Mark Streit. Yeah, Mikey, we've known Mark Streit for a while now. After his time with Montreal, the Islanders, with Philly, but now he's come over to the good guys. Tell us about your new defenseman and what you know about him. Well, he's obviously a veteran guy. He's played in the league a long time. Mark's a good player, and with some of the injuries that we have, Jim and his management team are looking to try to improve our depth on defense so that we have the best chance to succeed and moving forward. Pittsburgh Penguins in goal here tonight. We'll have Marc-Andre Fleury. Yeah, the Penguins did trade Marc-Andre Fleury, which I think is a good thing. I think that they're going to need Marc-Andre Fleury somewhere down the stretch here, and I think the locker room is healthier that Fleury was still here after 3 o'clock. Dragging this one back in as Taves. Here's Taves feeding it on across. Oh, and a great save. And a rebound. He just dove across and got in the way. Mark Andre Fleury keeping the game. one nothing here in Chicago. Nice. Wilson on the play, and he got in a backhand and by. No, he didn't get it in there. Came up the cross bar. Wilson celebrated like it went off the back bar. Yeah. Next whistle, it will be reviewed. Go! Go! Okay, scored. So strong here. I'll just take off. They got punched along by Haglund, dug out by King, jammed in. The Penguins returned home and met their newest member prior to his first game. Mark Strite made sure he looked the part. Been great. Had a warm welcome. Everybody's super nice, and you know you can tell it's a great organization and franchise. So a smooth transition so far. We know what a great guy he is. He can play both sides. That was an important addition. The 39-year-old Blue Liner will make his debut for the Penguins here tonight. Crosby has the puck. Across now. Shot. Score. Mark Strait gets his first goal in a Penguin uniform. Even though he's 39 years of age, he's still mobile, very smart, and I think he plays better with skilled players. He's one of those guys. Anytime a new player comes to a team and he scores a goal in the first game, I think it's certainly uplifting for everybody involved. He's a pretty happy guy about coming to Pittsburgh with a chance maybe to be in the playoffs here and maybe make a run for the Stanley Cup. So first, congrats to Mark for his first goal as a Penguin. Good job. I thought it was a really solid effort. He was really good the whole game. It was nice to see him get rewarded at the end, and obviously it was big for our team. Reinhardt towards it off the pads of Marie. Rebound, score, and Buffalo strikes again. Jack Eichel makes it 3 0. Wow, that's lightning quick. I would not be surprised if we get a goaltending change here because the Penguins need a wakey wakey. Obviously, the first period wasn't our best. We kind of left Murr in a bad spot there with some really, really great chances against. Down 3 nothing at home, you don't have a ton to lose. You've already kind of done the damage against, so we just kept pouring it on as much as we could offensively. Here's Malkin, down the wing, he centers to Kessel. He goes in front, shot, and he scores! And the Penguins are on the board. And Schultz right side of the ball, one-timer, he's up and scores! And it's 3-2, just like that. 
the way we responded the second and third is a little bit of our growth as a team, I think, and not wavering in our confidence in our own group and in what we need to do to win. It was pretty impressive that we stuck together and battled it out. With a month left in the regular season, the Penguins departed for Western Canada. Their last big road trip of the year started out all jammed up. Certainly a wild, slow game at the start. The first period took over an hour. Here we got a scrap here. Mock is dropping over Wheeler. Here we go. I think we were all expecting that. Number one, that's the kind of game that those guys play. But number two, you know, there was a little bit of history with the, the game prior. It was good to see us respond. Here's Malkin coming towards the net. Wrist shot. You know, and we were up, we were down, we were trailing, and then, you know, our skill kind of took over. He scores! Nick Benito has the hat trick! They keep potting three there, certainly helped, and off we went. Those are the kind of games that we're going to have to play in the playoffs, so it's important that we respond the right way in those games, and it was a good sign for us to battle through it and get the win. Good boys. Pretty easy. Yeah, cover that oh, head up. Cover that head up, folks! The Penguins move into game number two of a five-game road trip, moving through Western Canada. There's a lot of renewed interest in hockey here in Edmonton. It's a brand new building, a brand new year. There's Connor McDavid. There's a whole host of things to be positive about. Here you go, boys. Let's go. Welcome home, baby. Welcome home. Here you go. McDavid shrieking to the net, comes in, stopped by Flurry. Runs right over it. You're flying. Hey, hey, Chelsea, stay with him. The shot stopped and the rebound. Right there for Wilson. He turns behind the cage and the Penguins score. And there's Nick Benino again. Nice play. Good play, boy. Malka takes the pass from Kessel and guns one. Talbot doesn't know where it is. Malka tried to get there and he tripped him. Penguins still score. Nice, nice. Kessel though, coming over to Zubin underneath, tries to get the puck by, Tom with the for his first goal of the year. Where should I go there, Ivo maybe? Back for dry side on the one-timer, that's blocked in front, Brownie swept it away, and McDavid got the loose puck and buried it, and Connor McDavid has tied the game at two. And guess what, it looks like we're going to overtime. Uh, good news. Lead pass, McDavid's got it. He's coming to the Penguins net, slows it down, pulls it around, and Fury with a poke check. Won't let him finish. Look out, everybody in front, got him out there, dudes it out the stop by Fury, and he made an incredible save there. I feel like I'm having a heart attack. Kessel coming down the left side, shoots it, Kessel does score, the Penguins will win it, and ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has just left the building. Now let's play a smart, efficient, hard game. It's got to start with our compete level. We got to get our noses over pucks. We got to win puck battles. We got to get on the right side of people. And I think if we have that mindset, shift in and shift out, we stick to the details, then we'll play the game the right way. Okay? We'll score goals. Let's play the game the right way. Let's become harder to play against. All right? Let's have a good night here. Vancouver's a team that is young and trying to find its way, and they have good players and they're proud guys and they're well coached. I just have so much respect for this league and the players that compete in it. These guys are at the top of their professions and there's pride and so everybody's playing for something. That man there gets the shutout and the Penguins continue this Western road trip with three straight wins. Tonight from the Scotiabank Saddle Dome, the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Calgary Flames. The Calgary Flames have posted nine straight wins you kind of understand the way they're playing, but at the same time, you know, you got to play your own game. And as much as they're playing really good hockey right now, we're playing some good hockey too. So it's a good challenge. I think everybody gets excited for those games. Elliott makes the save, and the Flames have won 10 in a row. Back in Pittsburgh, the growing list of injured players were taking the necessary steps to get back in the lineup. Today's session will be with uh, Ole Mata, Brian Rust, and Patrick Hornquist. All three players are in a little bit different situation in their rehab. Hey, big guy. He's getting real close for graduation day with this guy. We got a goalie today. We got a goalie. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Outside edge to the red line, no crossing over. Push. Push. There we are, Rusty. Good, good. 
Okay, part two. Oh. Here we go, here we go. Keep them moving. Oh, that's Rust Hockey School right there. Ooh, one more, one more, I like it. It is definitely a little bit frustrating, especially when the team goes on a long road trip like they have, and you have, don't really see a whole lot of people at the rink every day. There's only kind of a select few of us here, and today was my first day with another guy shooting with me and with a goalie, so I had a little bit more excitement today, but it's obviously a little bit harder. Last one, get a vice, explode. Is this it right here? You want this puck on your stick? No! Oh! Oh! That's it for the day! Got it. Right at the buzzer. This goes absolutely bar in. The Penguins were back in Pennsylvania to close out the five-game road trip and got back one of their injured players as well. Matt Cullen rejoined the lineup against the Flyers. Come on, you fuckers, let's go. Oh, no. I got the meat out here. Got to the tip. You know, like, even if we don't get something right away, it's going to come. Just stay with it. I'm hanging on, baby. I'm just... <laughs> Thanks, man. Side for Sundquist. Back to Cullen. Save made. Rebound Kunak. He misses the net. Here we go, boys. That's a good shift. Nice to drop. Just so you know, you owe me one. You know that one? <laughs> well, for this year. You owe me one anyway. Really, really, yep. behind, behind, down here. Ten seconds. Atta boy. Held it at the line beautifully by Provorov. And then across to Gostas Bear. Gostas Bear with a shot, save, rebound, score, seven. Oh, man. That sucks. We have a game basically every other day the rest of the way. It's probably not realistic to win them all, but we'll win as many as we can. We understand what's at stake, and you know it's important that we get to our best hockey here down this last stretch. We still have a lot to play for here, and we're not going to allow ourselves to look beyond. We're going to stay right in the moment. We're going to take each game as it comes. We're going to go to the rink each and every day, and we're going to challenge each other to get better. I believe this group is capable of getting to another level, and that's what we're striving to do. Don't trip, Ken. Say, hey, Adam boy. Don't trip. Oh, that was it. Yeah! yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Dumo with the apple. Adam boy, Ken. Nice shot there, Dumo. Hey, yours is going in if it didn't hit somebody. Jake Gensel with the first star. Wow. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo.